Hello, it is Saturday, May 27th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Saturday puzzle today, so we have what may well be the most difficult crossword of the week. We'll have to find out. It is a themeless puzzle. And this themeless, difficult edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Alan Blunder, Mitchell Turek, Jenny Montague, and, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the indomitable Shawlmaster, and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support, their sustaining this channel, keeping this whole thing going, and for that, I am very appreciative. So thank you to them. Thank you to you if you yourself are a patron. And if you'd like to become one or consider becoming one, learning more about it, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field. And there you can get all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week that uh, today I will have to record the mini puzzle speed solve that was meant to go up yesterday, but I didn't have time. So uh, I will record that after this puzzle that I'm about to solve. And as a benefactor of the Patreon campaign, you of course also get the daily solve. Let's check the crosses mug. So thanks again to any uh, to any and all patrons. And you can also join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. There's a link in the description to that as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the videos, and comment, and all of those sorts of things. Thank you if you've done any of those. All right, let's get on to today's crossword. This is a debut construction, a debut themeless construction by Samuel Smalley. And it was edited, as always, by Will Short. So let's see what this new constructor has in store for us on potentially the most difficult solving day of the week. Creates by artificial means. I don't know. I feel, I, depending on the context, I feel as though there are probably a few possibilities here. You know, you could spoof something if you're kind of, um, I don't know, forging something, that kind of thing. How forges, I guess, would work as well. That's not really the means themselves aren't, I don't know. We'll come back to it. <laughs> bit of marathon attire. Um, you could wear a race bib. Is it called a race bib? I know it's a bib. I'm just saying race because it fits the number of letters, but I don't know if it's the answer. The thing that has your number on it. Campus VIPs. RAs? Residentialists? Assistants? I don't know that they're VIPs necessarily. Where to get the ball rolling, maybe. Actress Duval of 21 grams. Oh, Cleo, maybe? That's kind of vaguely familiar. I'm not sure it's correct. I'm still not sure about race bib either. So let's just keep looking around, seeing it. certain dignitary. And Amir, maybe? Um, leading an emirate. Major, major infractions of etiquette. Big no-nos. All right, this is, this is looking feasible over here. This looks like it could be calming or something. No, it's not. Rapacious cry, the opposite of that. Um, all mine? Yes, if you're rapacious, you're, you know, uh, greedy and, and jealous. So campus VIPs, maybe it is RAs. And some toy car carriers are sleighs, maybe Santa's, Santa's sleigh, um, bringing toys to all of the boys and girls. Where to get the ball rolling, maybe. Oh, an alley, a bowling alley. Okay, well, race bib was a, was a fortuitous early guess because it's giving me everything else in here. Oh, this doesn't look right. Oh, Clea, maybe Clea Duval, not Cleo, because earns achieve one's due honestly could be earn up, earn it. Um, to achieve one's due honestly, to earn, I don't know. Very clear, say, colloquially. In... Oh, no, 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 I'm falling apart. One up, you bested somebody, you one up to them. So maybe this is earn it. And very clear, colloquially. In uh, uplifting offering. It's the official uplifting offering of the New York Times crossword, which also happens to be the official poetic form of the New York Times crossword, the ode. I'm sure that's what this is. It's an uplift, it's a sort of offering of verse meant to uplift. I hope that's what it is anyway. Very clear. I still don't see this. I don't know. Took some courses. Dined. You took some courses of food. What is this? I don't know. Bits and pieces. Dribs and drabs. You kind of need both the dribs and drabs. You wouldn't just say there are dribs or there are drabs. So 
maybe not. They have their pluses and minuses. Ions could be positively or negatively charged. And impossible to get into. Could be a maybe a restaurant or something that you can't book. I'm just thinking because of the OO, but that wouldn't work with a D, I don't think. Uh, let's keep looking around. Like a lion. Um, hairy or furry or uh, what? Scary? I'm not sure. <laughs> no idea. Diner owner in Garfield. I don't know that answer. Um stretched stretch out to lie out to um i'm not sure it's a treat not going anywhere say is it okay if i leave can i go maybe yeah can i go fits actually stretched out oh that doesn't look great though uh, maybe this is not can i go Um, need me? Is it okay if I leave? Need me? Do you need me? I don't know. It's a treat. I'm not going anywhere. Is it okay if I leave? Oh, The Wire actress Son Sonia. Uh, Sonia Son from The Wire, I think. I think she plays one of the detectives. That is my memory of this name and person. Uh, could be wrong, but I think that's I think that's correct. Biblical preposition. Well, a very common preposition biblically is unto, and you know, the Lord saith unto you, that sort of thing. So it could be the answer. Created by artificial means. Oh, creates by artificial means. Creates. This could be the S. Something's up. Rigs up or something like that. When restaurants are busy, when restaurants are busiest, that is, when are they busy? At dinner time or um, New Year's Day informally? 1-1, one, one, because it's the first day of the first month of the year, I suppose. Um, not going anywhere. Inert or un... Uh, is it okay if I leave? Okay, let's try, let's try need me because that E works with it. Diner, oh, Irma? God, how on earth do I have that in my head? I think that might be the answer. Uh, popcorn. Oh, pop, oh, uh, a, a dad joke. So they're corny, they're corny jokes from a dad. I, I feel like popcorn, meaning dad jokes, is basically a dad joke. All right, there we go. It's a treat. Oh, a, a goodie? It's a real treat. It's a goodie. Yeah, I mean, that works. Oh, gin's up. You could gin up some controversy. Create it by artificial means. That is exactly what that is. All right, there we go. So not going anywhere, say, is in... Mm, and stretch out. Oh, eke out? Just sort of stretch out your earnings? You eke them out over the course of a month or something? I don't know. I guess that's, I think that must be the answer, but I, yeah, I wouldn't have thought of it in that context. Um, not going anywhere, say in, oh, in park, you're, if your car is in, uh, if your gear shift is in the parking, park gear, it's not going anywhere. All right. What's closed at closing time? Open, uh, When restaurants are oh, peak hours, okay, sure. Oh, an open tab would be closed. It's no longer peak hours. It's now closing time, and your tab has been closed. All right, pod holder, a bean something, bean pod, bean sprout, bean, um, I don't know. What is the word for the thing that holds the pods? Uh, bean stick. I don't think that's the answer. Like a lion. Is it hairy? Steel. Spelunker's Challenge. Um, so something in caves. What is the answer? I don't know. Start of a schedule. Impossible to get into. Bad things to lose track of. 
something, there's a question mark there that indicates some kind of punnery or wordplay. So maybe trains or something? Because you wouldn't want to lose track of them, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if that necessarily works. Political heavyweight. Well, in the UK, they always call political heavyweights big beasts. Um, I don't really think, I don't remember that ever being used in the US, at least not to my memory. Um, not sure. Squee inducing. Uh, something incredibly cute, maybe? Um, oh, I bet it's, <laughs> I bet I know what it is. I bet it's totes adorbs, which I think, I think has maybe been in the crossword before. I can't remember if it has or not, but it's, I don't know, sort of 2010s sort of internet-ish language. Bits and pieces, maybe it is dribs or drabs. Huh. Impossible to get into. What on earth is this? Very clear, say colloquially. It feels like, feels I must have something, as though I must have something wrong. I just don't understand what these letters are doing in this order. All right, well, impossible to get into. Um, something about there being no room, maybe? I don't know. Like a lion could be hairy. Start of a schedule. Okay, what have we not seen? Traveling sorts. Probably ends with an S. Gets on board. Um, could be gets on board metaphorically you agree with someone or could be gets on board as in you board you know a boat or an aircraft or something but i'm not sure and start of a schedule i keep going back to the same ones all right they can regenerate their eyes hearts and spinal cords wow still yet as in it's still true it's yet true approval often uttering impatient often uttered impatiently Yes, 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 maybe? You're impatient, you're saying, yes, yes, get on with it. I mean, that could be the answer. Still yet, largest country without an official language for short, probably the USA, um, which does not actually have an official language. Just as a de facto one. Um, biblical mother of Zebulon. Uh, Leah, I guess? I don't know this genealogy, but... Leah is a biblical name that would fit here. So I think it's probably the answer. To patronize a restaurant is to eat um, out. Oh, to eat out. Yes, to go to a restaurant to eat out. Yep, okay. Doodlebug, e.g. Um, I don't know. Is that someone who's a laggard or something? I don't I don't know. Maybe, maybe it actually is an insect. Uh, scientists discards bio waste. You could have sort of bio-organic matter. That might be the answer. It might not be. Let's check the crosses. Responsive shock in one, spe in one spelling. Maybe it's woe spelled the way that I don't like as opposed to woe the way that I do like. I don't know. I mean, in one spelling, I don't... It doesn't really give you any information about which spelling it is. It's an interesting clue. Sarcastic response to a first world problem complaint. Oh, poor you. Okay, so if it is woe, it is spelled this way because that's where the O would go. Helpline, save us is a lie. So we have the question mark here indicating we're not meant to read this in the idiomatic way. A helpline ordinarily would be a number you would call for help. But nope, here it's something you would say to call for help. Oh, doodlebug must be a larva, an example of a larval form. All right, California-based soft drink company. Oh, Shasta, I didn't know it was California-based, but I, I know of Shasta soft drinks. They exist, so there we go. Haven't seen one in, I don't know, Decades, maybe? Political heavyweight. Oh. This is actually a bit strange. These two S's. Do I think that's right? Maybe this isn't bio waste. Because two O's followed by two S's just looks very strange. Um, lab waste? Oh, uh, something boss. Political heavyweight. Yeah, okay. That does work. Spelunkers challenge something. Steel. Oh, it could be a deal. It could be, a, that's a steel. It's a great deal. Um, I don't know. Steep deal doesn't really work. Uh, they can regenerate like hams. 
Hams, obviously it could refer to the food, but it could also refer to somebody who uh, hams it up on stage. They over emote. Um, which do I think is more likely? I'm not sure. All right, let's keep looking around. Pet sound. Arf or uh, mew or um, what other pets? Uh, well, other dog sounds are sort of things that don't fit in three, like bark or woof. Um, yeah, it's probably R or, or mew. Uh, impediment to picking things up. Uh, it could be picking things up physically off the ground, or it could be picking things up as in understanding them. Bad ear, I don't know. It doesn't really sound very good to me. More than one. Several or multiple. Those both fit, actually. No, they don't. Multiple doesn't fit. So several could be the answer. Subjects of some conspiracy theories in brief. Well, in three letters as a plural, because it says subjects, my first guess is ETs for extraterrestrials, alien, you know, uh, outer space alien life, um, which would make this not several, more than one. Uh, there are probably obvious answers there that I'm not getting. Distribute, meet out, maybe? You could meet out rations, distribute them. That could be the answer. Some launches, for short. IPOs, maybe? A company's public launch on a public stock exchange? Could be. Um, going without, in a way. And more than one. Why do I not see what that is? Don't know. Some credit opportunities. Uh, LMAO. So uh, laughing a great deal. Could just be ha ha ha. In which case, distribute could be handout. I shouldn't have put meat out in there and kept it there without confirming it with any crosses because obviously there's at least one other possibility, which is the one I just put in, and there may be even more. So that was a bit... That was dangerous. And it would have thrown me off for other things. So going without in a way is, I mean, if I didn't have anything there, I would think sans, 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 without from French. Is there any way that that would work here? Although that's not in a way, that's just literally, that's literally going without. In a way means it'll be a bit, so I'm gonna put this back in, uh, it'll be looser than that in some way that I've not yet identified. <laughs> More than one. Oh, a couple? Oh, okay, it's two words. I was just really fixated on thinking of a single word, but no, we had a couple of those. We had more than one. Okay. Going without, in a way. Mm. Pet sound. Traveling sorts. So we're all on the same page. Um, uh, oh, why do I not see it? Okay, let's look around. Cover for a criminal, criminal organization, a front, some kind of front business, a mob front. Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, oh, the pet sound is arf, right? I forgot to go back to that after putting this in. Okay. Could have gotten that more quickly, I guess. So we're all on the same page. Oh, to recap. I see. We're going to go over the plan again. So to recap, so we're all on the same page. There we go. And some credit opportunities are... Oh, AP to... Oh, right. Advanced placement tests before heading to university, at which point, if you got certain scores on the AP test, you can then skip some... Uh, classes. You can get credit for those classes. All right. That's the answer. Going without in a way. I still don't see what this is. I'm going to look at my keyboard and just look at the letters available. Oh, nude. Going without clothing, maybe? Oh, a hernia could be an impediment to picking things up physically off the floor, bending over to pick something up. All right. French toast. Salut. There we go. Like hams. Oh, stagey, maybe. Yes. So it was what I was getting at earlier terms of over emoting on stage and i think that is referred to as being stagey you're being a little little over you're, you know you're overacting a bit political heavyweight 
a party boss. There we go. That looks like the answer, political party boss. They can, re oh, newts, I guess, can regenerate their eyes, hearts, and spinal cords. That sounds believable to me, but it is still kind of amazing. <laughs> Spelunkers challenge a shallow gap, a narrow gap. There we go. Yes. Cave explorer. Okay, like a lion. A lion is... I don't know, maybe this isn't bean pod holder. Start of a schedule. Impossible to get into, oh, something proof. So what is this? Oh, it's, oh, oh my goodness. In high def, in high definition. I'm sorry to everybody who was e yelling at me through the screen about this one. I'm very sorry. Yes, the picture, the, the you know, the projection or the thing on your screen is very clear. It's in high definition. It's in high def. All right, there we go. Uh, so impossible to get into is burglar proof or something, or uh, I don't know. Start of a schedule like a lion. Steal. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, there's so little left. I should be able to clean this up. Bad things to lose track of. I mean, if this were trains, it could end with dribs, one of the two words I was thinking, dribs and drabs. Uh, if this were a T, oh, sweet deal. Oh, so tawny, peak. Oh, but restaurants aren't busiest at peak hour, or they are, but they're also busiest at peak times. Here we go. Okay, so a, ta a lion could be, is tawny, there we go. And then pod holder is a bean plant. Okay, <laughs> the simplest, simplest possible conclusion to that, but plant. All right, fair enough. That sounds perfectly correct. Start of a schedule, line A. All right, there we go. Gets on board lades, maybe, as in you load cargo on board. Oh, tamper-proof. Impossible to get into. Maybe a, a, a safe or something. It's tamper-proof. It's impossible to get into. Model trains. Bad things to lose track of. There we go. It was trains. And role played by a dog with a bigger salary than some human actors in the same film. Must have been Toto in The Wizard of Oz. I wonder what that means. Who's... <laughs> To whom does the dog's salary go? Is it the person who owns or trains the dog? That's interesting. I'll have to look that up. And traveling sorts could be hobos. There we go. And that's the Saturday crossword. All right. A very nice debut uh, Saturday. I don't think it was, you know, particularly brutally difficult Saturday crossword, but I definitely didn't make things easy for myself. I sometimes put things in too early, sometimes just didn't think of very obvious things. Uh, sometimes I, you know, was on the right track, but I picked the wrong version of what that thing could be without sufficiently considering other synonymous possibilities. So, yeah, I probably made this a bit of a tougher solve for myself than I absolutely needed to, but it still came together reasonably well. And a very nice grid by Samuel Smalley. Well done uh, to you on your debut. And uh, I hope to see more. Um, uh, that's the end of the video for today. I have to go record the um, uh, mini mini puzzle speed solve from the past week for Patreon subscribers. But I'll be back, of course, tomorrow for the Sunday crossword, the big jumbo grid. So do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care. Mm -hmm.